Good evening. This is Tina. How are you doing today? Okay. Regular ask. You don't need to answer. So we are gonna do an exercise, and、uh, which is to mock a user to the request object. The reason we are doing this one is, do you remember? Uh, the first video I made today is、uh, to show you for both for the all the users use our website. They are gonna using the shared shopping cart, right? Because shopping cart is stored in the memory and is not associated to the user. And、uh, since since for our website we haven't talked about. The log in or log out, right? And、uh, so we are gonna do yes now. Yes, I'm gonna mock a user in the request object, and、uh, which pretend when I click add to the shopping cart,、uh, add product to shopping cart, it's all add to this particular user. Okay, and、uh, let on once we know how to do authentication authorization, then we are gonna using the user which is authenticated user. Okay, and、uh, for this exercise, we are gonna using some fake user, no real user in the、uh, database, but、uh, actually it's not.、Uh, but、uh, all the shop, all the products will add to that particular user. Okay. Kind of like a mock, okay. And、uh, first thing I want to show you is、uh, here we have a deprecated deprecation warning, right? To fix that, you add this one, add this configuration, then it's gonna be、mm, ignored. This is caused by the upgrades on the mongoose and cause this issue. Okay, we just ignore it now. So next one is how to do a mock, and、uh, ask you one question: How can we? Add an object which is available in every request. We using this one, right? We using here. Before going to all the routes, what are we gonna do here? Yes, we using this one. App dot use, okay? App dot use. We are have a mid、uh, middleware, right? Request the response next. First thing we gonna do is here. Okay, we're gonna do is make sure you call the next. Otherwise, when you have a when you have a request comes, it's all stop here. Make sure it pass to next uh next uh, middleware. Okay, and what we're gonna do here is here suppose we are gonna mock right. Uh, the user I'm choosing. Let's how about this one, Tina. This one. Okay, I'm gonna do is、uh, we pretending. We are gonna fetch this user based on the user ID. Then we add into our、uh, model. Okay, how to do that?、Oh, sorry, sorry, not here. Sorry, sorry. Okay, here we are using user dot find, but here we don't have user. Here we want to get is using user this model. Then we can have a find by ID method, right? So first we here we will go to、uh, user. Okay, equals require, which is dun 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 model slash user. Okay, and here we're gonna do is user dot find by ID. Okay, what's the ID? We're gonna using the fake using the one we copy from the database. Okay, you can using any one of them. And we are just pretending for current website, okay. All the products gonna add to this user, okay. And、uh, when we learn authentication, then we can we are change this part to be hard to to not be hard coded value, okay. In the later、uh, lesson, because now we have no way, okay. We must have a user first. And once it find, we do a resolve, okay. Resolve, we are give you the user, okay. Uh, user in DB. Okay, let's make、uh, this name. Okay, and then we are gonna do like this. And here we give a catch and an error and、uh, console console dot log error.、Okay. And、uh, let me make it to be like this, so looks nicer. 
Okay. So what are we gonna do here? Okay. We're gonna do is request data user equals user in DB. So what is this one doing? This one doing is uh, so wh when a request comes, it's gonna go to this middleware and then it's gonna handle by other routers, right? So this one doing is uh, uh, I query based on this uh, user, uh, this user ID, I query to get a user object, which is whatever we get from the database. So like this one, cart is empty, right? And the email password, we get everything from database and uh, we sign to the request object. And uh, because this middleware is running for every request, so for all the requests in our router, here, all the router here, and all the router here, and all the router here, you can get the user object. Let me demo you one thing, okay? Uh, suppose we go to a shop. Shop gonna call get a, uh, get products, right? Here, if you want to get this user object, this user object, user object, you can go, yes, just a call request. Request dot user. Let's con let's using console dot log request dot user. Okay. And you can get it exactly stored in the database, the, the, the user info. Okay, uh, let's go to the slash page, right? No, 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 this one, sorry. Firefox, okay. And we go here and we're using localhost 3000, okay. And now, I uh, undefined. EY is undefined. Okay, let's take a look at app.js. It is say undefined, which is surprised me. And uh, you say undefined, why? User in DB. Okay, let's do a, this one and we refresh. Okay, here, here. Here, here has user in DB. See, take a look at this one. Here, ah! I know why. Because this one is what? This part is uh, asynchronous code, right? Asynchronous code. So when it go to this uh, call back, which is this middleware, it will call next first. After call next, then this part is being resolved. Okay, so what we need to do is here. We put it here. Okay, makes sense. Okay, okay now let's uh, refresh. You will see both has values. Now take a look at, take a look at, good, good, good. Okay, so here user in DB, I have this information and user info, which is in our shop. Okay, here we also has all the informations. Okay, and the shopping cart, everything is empty now. Okay, did you get the, what we are doing now? Uh, if, if I put this information in get a product detail, you will still get the information like a product detail. Because for every request, okay, it will go to our data middleware. So here, suppose I go to product detail. See here? You will see, get a product detail, user information. See here. So every request, you can get this user, okay? That's what we are trying to do now, okay? And to how to access, we just are using request data user. And what we did here, okay? What we did here is just make sure for every request, okay, it's gonna have a, a user object on the request object. The user object on the request object, okay. So the next video, we're gonna do a add to shopping cart because uh, add to shopping cart, we have to get the user object, okay. And by doing this, we make sure for every request, we can get a user object, okay. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you. Bye-bye.